So guys, for the first step, you want to fully close out of Razor Synapse. So in the bottom right of your taskbar, you want to click on the arrow. If you see Razor Synapse right here, you want to right click on it and then click on Exit. And you also want to head over to Search and type in Task Manager, click on it. Make sure that you're on the Process tab. If you see anything that says Razor Synapse or just anything to do with Razor or Razor Synapse, you also want to close that as well. So let's say that this is Razor Synapse, I'm going to click on it and then click on End Task. And now for the second step, you want to find Razor Synapse on your desktop. Let's just say this is Razor Synapse. Once you find it, you want to right click on it and then click on Properties and then click on the Compatibility tab. And then you want to select Run this program in Compatibility mode, Disable full screen Optimizations and Run this program as an Administrator and then click on OK. And now for the next step, you want to head over to Search again and type in percent local app data percentage sign. Click on it. And now once you're on this, you want to scroll down till you find the Razor folder. You just want to delete this. Don't worry, these are just your temporary files. And now once you complete all these steps, Razor Synapse should now be working. If it's still not working, for the second method, you want to head over to Search and type in Add Remove Programs, click on it. And then once you're on this, you want to scroll down till you find Razor Synapse. Once you find it, you want to click on the three dots and then click on Uninstall. Then you just want to uninstall it. And then once you uninstall Razor Synapse, you just want to go to the Razor Synapse website, then you just want to download it again. And this should now fix your problem. 